Well, if today's nice weather isn't giving you the spring feels, I know what will. The annual Maine Flower Show. New Center's Clay Gordon is live at Thompson's Point in Portland to talk about what's blooming in the week ahead. Good morning, Clay. Yeah, the spring weather just getting us more and more excited for the upcoming season. If you're like me, many of us are itching to get outside to start our yard work, clean up around the house, and there's no better place to be this week than the annual Maine Flower Show. Joining me now is Mark Fonts, the chairperson uh, for the Maine Flower Show, the uh, for the steering committee there. Mark, well, uh, this is a great event. Uh, tell me a little bit about kind of the uh, the kind of the setup, kind of leading up into uh, into festivities. Well, the setup started on Thursday morning. We started receiving materials here for the gardens to start to lay out all of their hardscape with the stone and the block and the brick. Uh, and then they'll work through uh, Monday morning, getting their, their designs in place, and then plants start to arrive Monday around noontime and this place will be changing rapidly. Yeah, and it's already changed a lot since I was actually visiting you guys yesterday. Tell me about like the sweat equity that uh, kind of happens when all these landscaping companies are really making backyards in inside rather than outside. Yeah, it's really amazing the work that goes into these. We were setting some stones yesterday on this garden that's behind us, and that's why we have all of this equipment here is to get some of these larger pieces of, of uh, stone into place so that uh, we can put on a great show for the people that come next week. And you kind of mentioned it that the flowers aren't here yet. Obviously, that's a big part of the flower show. Uh, tell me why that is, uh, why you're kind of waiting uh, until the next few days to bring those flowers in. Right, so there are a lot of uh, big overhead doors here in the building that we have to come in and out with equipment to bring bark, mulch, and stone, and all those materials in. And the flowers, of course, are coming out of greenhouses at this point, so they're still pretty tender. So we, set, we shut all the doors on Monday morning, turn the heat on, and in they come. And uh, tell me too, really, about how you could come out here. Uh, it's, a, it's a big event. How can you come out? Could you just walk in uh, through the doors here? You can. Actually, the show opens on Thursday morning. You can, you can come down and walk through the door and buy your tickets here. Um, this year, we have parking that is going to be off-site, though, because there's construction going on here at the point. So all of our parking, with the exception of handicap parking, which will be here, um, the rest of, of, our, of our attendees will park out either at the main mall um, across from Hannaford out there. We have uh, over 600 spaces out there, or at the Italian Heritage Center down on Congress Street. And then we have a bunch of buses that will be running people back and forth all day long. Now, we have two kind of venues. We're inside the big uh, warehouse building here. There's also a heated tent outside. You should have really nice weather leading up until next week. Might be a few cold days but really the weather shouldn't be an issue for anyone i hope so i'm counting on you guys <laughs> <laughs> well we are very happy to be uh, one of your sponsors main sponsors this year this is truly a really uh, fun event we have a lot of live coverage coming up throughout the week mark thank you uh, so much for uh, joining us this thank morning thank you clay appreciate it anything else I, I think that's it. Okay. Just come on down on Thursday. Excellent. Uh, and Jess, it is like we said, it's going to be great weather coming up this next week. I'm going to be here. I got my flower tie. I think that's <laughs> the only flowers that are in the building right now. Very prepared, Clay. Jess. Can't wait to see it filled with more flowers. Thank you so much.